Hello time travelers. In this video I'm going to be trying out the RGB software for this microphone. It is a HyperX Quadcast S. Just FYI, this microphone is almost exactly the same microphone as a HyperX Quadcast. The only difference is, is that it uses USB-C right here instead of micro B and it's RGB. And I'm really curious about the RGB software because, you know, RGB software can be crap or it can be good. Like, check this out. Here's the IQ software for Corsair. And it's able to handle my memory and my all-in-one cooler. So, you see, like, that's my all-in-one cooler and that's my memory. And you can't really tell it on here, but it's cycling. Like, right now, my memory's purple. And it's going to change. It's blue. Blah, blah, blah. But back here in the software, it's fairly easy to choose whatever color you want and have it like cycle between those colors so i'm not going to get really deep into it but let's say i click on the memory thing which is rgb pro go like this to highlight all the dims and then choose gradient and then i could add these little points on it and it cycles in between the, the points within a certain number of seconds total time in this block here being 30 seconds and the same for here I put 30 seconds, same colors, and you could select all of the things. And these are all the LEDs inside of the water cooler's pump block. But then, like, I have an MSI motherboard, and it doesn't have features like that. So, like, I'm in here, and you have to figure out what all these buttons do, and I'll just, like, make it really short for you guys. Motherboard and my 1080 Ti, right? And I made it steady lights because it's really, like, flickery and stuttery if I choose different lights and that's not the software that's the lights in the thing but the motherboard like here's the ports on the motherboard where you plug things in and then you choose them and you choose what colors they get but not really you don't have like custom colors you can just choose these presets and you might be saying well that might be the motherboard rob that should be like a hardware limitation no it's not because i actually made two rgb lights before rgb lights and computers were a thing that made lamps and how it works is that you have rgb data that is sent in a string of characters to the lights and the integrated controller in each rgb led consumes as in takes away one chunk of rgb data that being red green blue those three color values anywhere between zero and 255 which was represented as ff in hexadecimal and then passes the rest of the string onto the next LED. And then that one passes on to the next LED. And I programmed these little microcontrollers with all these different algorithms and stuff for changing the lights. And, and then you could choose color one and color two, and it would do the algorithm to change colors in between color one and color two. Whatever, I digress. Let's take a look at uh, HyperX's software called Ingenu Inge Ingenuity. Ingenuity. I can't say it if you spell it wrong, guys! Beta. So, let's click microphone. I actually clicked this earlier to make sure it would load, and it updated the firmware on this thing, and it was blinking red and stuff. Whatever. But the firmware update was really fast. So, the first thing I noticed in here was this button. I'm like, what's that do? And I clicked it. I'm like, huh? Game link. Phase 1, preset 2. So maybe there's presets in here. And then I noticed the polar patterns down here, which I'm a little bit familiar with. I don't know if you can hear me at this angle. This is the one I'm using mostly when I'm talking on my videos. Omnidirectional can hear me same volume at all sides. And then there's a stereo one, which is like, you know, left and right over there, which is pretty sweet actually. If I could find a use for it, the problem is that I tried filming with Charlie sitting here and he's super quiet if you're, you know, because he's too far away from the mic. Anyways, but that's not anything to do with RGB. You get the mic volume, which I'm guessing is control, sound, and then, hmm, recording? You go to, where are you at? USB live camera properties listen levels 100 let's see if these are synced 
Am I am I quieter? Am I quieter? My my OBS is st still up here. Let me put my OBS over here. Blah blah blah. Testing testing. Hmm. Mic volume. Blah blah blah. Yeah. Blah blah blah. Testing testing. I don't know. Mic monitoring. I I couldn't figure that out either. Let's get into the actual meat and potatoes of this video, which is RGB. So how would you lights? Okay. Oh, that's pretty self-explanatory. These are all the colors it has that is going through and cycling. Selection. Okay. Now it's like Noob Cybot microphone. Its color palette has been changed to black on black. All lights. So, delete. Click this color. And let me see, how did, how did I do IQ? Which is blue. Purple, red, purple, blue. So, blue. Well, there's a regular blue right there. Well, I want darker blue than that. Blue, and then another blue over here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So, delete the every other one. Oops. Oh, I did it right. Why did I say oops? And then red in the middle. That was easy. Or red. Is this changing while I'm selecting? No, it's just going through the cycle and tripping over itself. And this one looks purple. I wish I could copy paste colors. Purple's more like down there. Sweet! That was freaking easy! I'm transfixed and amazed. It almost makes me want to. Oops. It almost makes me want to do ASMR video with it. Whatever. So. That's a wave, apparently. So add effect. And we've got solid. And hit add. Okay, now solid's above it. What if... And it's solid red, okay. And you can adjust it and watch it change. That's a little bit too fuchsia. Okay. What happens if I put the wave above the solid? Does it go back to wave? No, it's still kind of on that fuchsia color. I thought it was going to be like IQ, which is I drag these and whichever one's on top is the one it's using right now. Go ahead and remove that. Hit add effect. Blink. Add. And immediately I'm noticing this looks different. Okay, let's remove that. Add effect. Cycle. Okay. This is like the other one where I could choose colors and how many seconds apart they are and stuff. That's cool, but... Oh, it's cycling between the colors across the whole thing instead of going from top to bottom or whatever like I was doing before. Delete. Lightning! Add. What's lightning do? Looks like just waves that when there's gonna do it, it does it real fast. And you just pick one color? Like that other effect? Why would there be a search effects thing? So, search effects box tells me that since this is a beta, they're probably coming out with other effects later. Hey, why are you in noob slaybot mode again? You don't just randomly do that! Oh, back to wave. Okay, good. Well, I'm gonna leave it there. Already! I'm giving this software a 10 out of 10 because it was intuitive and it let me choose the colors that I wanted in a cycle that I wanted. That's everything to me. Other RGB developer software people, you need to do that. 
And don't act like it's too complicated. If some rando off the internet can figure it out and make his own freaking lights, understands how integrated controllers on RGB lights work just because he watched a few Adafruit videos on the YouTubes, then sir. Well, if you've been enjoying this video so far, and you might be interested in seeing the random tech things that I do in the future, make sure you get subscribed. And if you liked seeing this video and appreciate that you couldn't see content on this on the rest of the YouTubes, and that's why I made it, please like the video and comment below and, you know, help the algorithm, because that's a great way to support the channel. So, thanks for watching the video, and how do I close it out? Hmm. Over here, I'll put one of my sci-fi videos for you guys to check out. Check it out and comment in sci-fi video if you like to see content like that. And down here, I'm gonna put whatever YouTube thinks is best. I'll tell you what's best for you, YouTube! It's algorithms, I guess. You could subscribe to the channel down here, and you could check out my music channel over there. Okay, bye!